everyone, if you're here, you probably have heard about Alctivism. But if you didn't, Alctivism is a social project aimed to storm the results that search engines give us by normalizing inclusion and diversity. This specific project is aimed to fight the stigma of so-called professional hairstyles, which according to the biggest search engines are right now mostly only blonde and straight hair. We need to change that. I set up this repository on GitHub, which is available to anyone, as a template for you to take an action and to contribute. I will show you how you can contribute with just a GitHub account. Curious? Then let's go. First, let's make sure that we are signed in. We can check that here on this menu. Perfect. Now, let's fork the repository. Click on that fork. GitHub is going to make all the magic for us. We don't need to do a single thing. There we go. The template is there, a complete copy of it. With the files, with the readme, with the live section, as it is right now, and with the how to run instruction. In this video, we're going to focus on what to do if we don't want to change anything, we just want to fork the repository and publish it. I do have a section that is called how to publish in case you want to check that one out. But since you're already here, I'm going to show you how to contribute. So let's scroll up. We're going to click on settings. And once we're there, we need to scroll down and find a section called GitHub pages. There you go. In the source section, click on the button and in the drop down menu, select master branch. The page will refresh itself. We need to scroll down again. Yeah. So now you see your site is ready to be published at. Copy that link. It's going to come in handy later on. And this is basically it. Usually it takes a while to publish a website, but since I've done it several times for this tutorial, then it's probably going to be very fast. Let's check it out. Yep. There it is. The website is live. This is a live website. How crazy is that? How long was that? Four or five clicks? What was that? Two minutes? Three minutes? Easy. Super. Now, okay, let's refresh the page. Yeah. With the green tick, this is how you know that your site is published. So now, since we did such an amazing job, we want to include our link that we got from GitHub in this live list, right? Because why not? We did a good job. So click on that pencil. Then next to the number, paste your link in the same pattern as the ones above. And don't forget to add an additional number for the person that comes after you. Now commit the changes and there you go. The file is updated, but this file is in our repository. We want to update it in the template repository. Click here and it's going to redirect us. And now we can click on pull requests. Let's go for it. In here, go for a new pull request and importantly, select compare across forks. In the drop down, find your repository and select it. And there you go. That's exactly the file that you changed. Now click create pull request. Scroll down a bit to double check that it's correct. Yep. Click again, create pull request, and that's all. I'm going to get a notification that you have submitted a pull request and I'm going to approve it and it's going to appear in the template. Now, if you do want to change some stuff, you would need to clone this repository to your machine and do the changes that you want. You can do it with the GitHub link, you can do it with downloading the zip or with the GUI that GitHub provides. So how to change things and what to focus on. So the most important thing that if you're going to change something, let it be something that is going to affect the search engine results. I left some hints in index.html, which are called fill-ins. Let's scroll up, go to the index.html file, and I'll show you where they are. There we go. As you can see on line seven, I have a fill in for the title. Search engines are going to pay huge attention to your title. So if you're going to change something, change this one as well, please. 
it's going to help a lot. Then on line 10, we have another fill-in for description. This is also very important for search engines. So those two things, if you want to change something, change them for sure. If you don't know what to change them for, I also took care of that. You can go to the README file, scroll down to the section called Content of Choice, and you'll find Titles and Descriptions. Choose any of those and put them in, or actually create your own. That's also fine. You can also change the style in style.css or add some JavaScript, as you wish. You can change anything you want. That's your project. But whatever you do, Keep in mind to have the website mobile friendly. It's extremely important for SEO and we're living in 2020, so come on. That was it. Everything else that you can change, the stage is yours. Here's the website. Awesome. It's live. It's already making a change. Have fun.